Well, my name is Mary Jefferson. Hi, my name is Patricia Bates. My name is Tracy Mims. My name is Douglas Combs. Well, in 1995, I was diagnosed with uh, severe scoliosis and also arthritis in my spine. I experienced chronic pain on the right side of my arm, my full right side of my arm. And I'm experiencing a lot of pain in my back, in my shoulder. I have Achilles tendonitis, which is very painful and I have arthritis in both knees. And I've been dealing with chronic pain for years. I would like other people who have chronic pain to know that you're, you may always have pain, but there's a lot of ways that you can try to subside the pain. I would like other people who experience chronic pain to know that um, you could get help by losing the techniques, the techniques I learned here, um, breathing, um, resting, finding a quiet place, music, and uh, the saginal breathing is one of the best. Well, the other people that have chronic pain, they shouldn't let the pain control them. You should always be in control of the pain. You know, because when you first get hurt and you can't do things the way you used to be able to do them, it messes with your head, you know. You focus on, wow, I can't do that anymore. You know, but you have to take your mind and your focus off of what you used to be able to do to what you're now able to do. So you have to start where you are, not where you used to be. I want health providers to know that sometimes it helps when they listen and try to come up with other ways to help me overcome the pain that I'm experiencing besides giving me medication, because medication actually doesn't help at all. It just makes me sleepy or makes me feel groggy all day, and I don't want to feel like that all day long besides the other medications that I take. So I would rather them to just to listen and to hear what I'm saying instead of just constantly giving out medication that's, that doesn't even help. I want health providers to know that with people with chronic pain, it's serious. I'm not talking about those people who like to do drugs just to be high. I like to let the doctors know that it's not always about a high. It's about easing up that pain because it doesn't really take the pain completely away, but it does help. It does help your mental you know, if you have something to help you to like ease that pain because that's no easy task dealing with chronic pain every day. Well, I would like the health providers to know that not to give too many medications out to a patient because uh, they don't know their body. They just know what the patient is telling them. But I found out medication is not good. Exercising is always better. Mm -hmm. Help providers have helped me by getting the the therapy I needed, um, different resources like pain management, um, dance movement therapy, um, different classes I take to help me get better with my chronic pain. Well, my health provider helps me by listening. She's very patient. She's not judgmental, and I love her. Mm -hmm.